my name is Michael Tapes and I'm going to show you the methodology, the process that you use LensLine and FocusTune software to tune your lens to your camera body so that they're matched and calibrated to work together. So we mount the camera on a tripod, we mount lens line on a tripod. They don't have to be exactly the same height. We set them at the proper distance. That depends on what lens you're using. And then what we have to do is position the lens align properly to the camera. In other words, we don't want the lens align tilted like this or wrong or what have you. And we have a patented system built into lens align called True Parallel Alignment to do that. And what we do is we just point the camera to lens align, just roughly center the, the bullseye in the camera. And then we look from the back of lens align and we, what we call back sight. And what we're doing is we're looking through the two holes and we move the lens align until the center of the lens is visible through the two holes. This is what it looks like from the back of the camera. And that means that we're precisely aligned. Then we mount the large focus target onto the lens align. Make sure that the camera is set to all the proper settings, large fine JPEG and all the settings that I'll go over in the later video. Check for final alignment, do a test shot. And then we take a series of shots with the autofocus adjustment system set at minus 20, minus 15, minus 10, minus 5. So what we're going to do is take five shots at each of those. So we set minus 20 in the menu system. And then we defocus, shoot, defocus, shoot, defocus, shoot, defocus, shoot, defocus, shoot. Change this from minus 20 to minus 15. Five shots. Minus 15 to minus 10, five shots, change it by five, et cetera, until we get all the way to plus 20. So now we have this series of shots taken at every one of those adjustment settings. We load the files into the computer, point focus tune to the folder of files, and focus tune analyzes the files and prints out a graph showing you the precise focus of those shots across the different settings. So it's going to show you where the best autofocus performance was achieved. Let's say that was between minus 10 and minus 15. So then what we're going to do is come back to the camera, set the autofocus adjustment to minus 15, take five or six shots, minus 14, five or six shots, 13, 12, 11, 10. We've done that range. Now we feed the files into focus tune again, prints out the graph, and we know the number that we want to enter into the menu system for that specific lens. Now, every time you mount the lens onto the camera, the camera now knows how it should adjust the autofocus system to perform best. Remember that the lens and the camera body have never been used together before. They've never been through a final quality control check together at the factory. So in essence, you're performing this final calibration from your camera body to your lens. And that's going to allow you to achieve the best possible autofocus performance from this lens and camera body. That's the overview. Thanks for watching. I'm Michael Tapes.